like that, so I'm gonna have to time out you for like 10 minutes. No racial slurs! Yeah, no slurs. Leave the game, I'm uh, fine. Oh. Oh, it's a troll thing. Okay. Well. Huh? Oh, did you hack my account? And then he later realizes what happens and actually. I can't even believe you would do something like that. I don't have freaking PayPal or anything. I have like a cash app or something, dude. I <laughs> No, you can't get my account back. This is actually really disgusting. And making a poor <laughs> Problem solved. Nothing bad will ever come of this ever. Anyway, thanks to some Roblox developers on Twitter, there is actually a temporary solution for this. So I'm going to show you how you can protect yourself from getting your account banned. I'm going to show you first on PC, then I'll show you how to do it on mobile. Okay, so if you're on PC, what you want to do is go up here to the top right. You're going to see the little gear icon. You're going to click that, and then you're going to click on settings right here. Just regular settings. Click that. Well, that's going to bring you to the settings page right here. Now, what you want to do is actually click on the tab that says privacy. Click on that tab, and then you're going to want to scroll all the way down here until you see who can chat with me not who can chat with me in app but who can chat with me by default this is probably going to be set to everyone you want to set this to no one if you have a pin attached you want to go ahead and enter that pin i'm going to go ahead and do that and now it's saved successfully now what this setting does is it disables the roblox chat so nobody can chat with you in game not the best solution but it's kind of all we've got right now and even then i'd be careful there's still a chance this may not work but let me show you on mobile real quick so if you're on mobile you want to go down here to the bottom right, you want to click the three dots in the circle. This is going to bring up your account settings. And then you want to scroll down until you see settings with a little gear icon. You're going to click that. And then once you're inside your Roblox settings, you want to once again, click on privacy. That's going to bring up your privacy settings. You want to scroll all the way down again. Who can chat with me? You want to change that to no one. It's saved successfully. There you go. And now you can just close out of your settings. You should be good to go. Now, once this problem has been fixed, you're free to change that back if you want to chat in Roblox with your friends or to other people in a server. But for right now, probably a good idea to just leave that off. Shout out to Kaylee over on Twitter, by the way, who actually told me about this. Hopefully this gets fixed, but judging from Roblox's track record, it's probably going to take a few years. finally responded. Roblox has issued a few statements regarding the Crosswoods incident. Apparently that's what we're calling it now. Of course, I'm talking about the current situation on Roblox where there's a bunch of games and if you join into one of them, your account gets permanently banned. As you might expect from a situation like this, a lot of players are scared, not really sure if they can play Roblox, if they can't play Roblox. And well, after two long days, Roblox has responded. Roblox put up this post here over on the developer forums. Now, Ro <laughs>